<clears throat> Hello. Today is April 12th, and you know what that means? Today is the first day of trout fishing in northeastern Pennsylvania. And, you know, I told you before that I was going to do this, and now it's part time for part 5 of my mini-series, which documents my first day of trout fishing, which is just, it's going to be awesome. I've been waiting for this for so long, and all I want to do is catch one native brook trout out of our stream, and it's going to be a really awesome thing if I get to do that. But, uh, you know, I just woke up, I'm tired, you know, hair's a mess, but... I think we're gonna have a good day here, and uh, yeah, I'm really gonna try and catch something. I'm gonna show you all my tackle. You know, it's uh, 6:33 now, so I'll be heading down, and uh, and this is gonna be quite the day. And uh, oh yeah, uh, also I will have when I catch the fish or trout or anything I catch, you will get to see it. You know, so you'll be there to see it. Bye. Okay, this is all my tackle today in my attempt to catch a native brook trout. Over here is a bucket I'm going to put it in with my net, which is very, you know, something I'm really going to need. Right here, 4 foot 8 algae stick, 4 pound test. I have size 12 hooks, which you can see here. Uh -huh. You see, equal claw 12. And I have plenty of baits. I have lots and lots of power baits, even though I'm not really depending on them. Sherbert, uh, yellow, uh, bubblegum, white, corn yellow, chartreuse. I have these nice soft baits here, which you can see are they're like uh, they're like nymphs and stuff that you would find in the water. Now this is not a gum container. Inside this container here, I have corn, which I'm going to use, and I have some dry flies over here and. There's my Rapala selection, and here is what I'm really relying on. In this uh, case here, I have worms, like red worms. So uh, here's where everything goes. My vest. And voila, uh, there's my hat. There's Joe. She wished me luck. And uh, over there, that's Will. William. I'm not fishing this hole, but this is just a sample of the stream. We just see how unbelievably good it looks right now. It's not muddy. It is like fog lifting. This is beautiful right now. This is amazing. What luck do I have to come down here when it's like this? Look at the fog. Oh, spectacular. Clear water. This is gonna be a great day. I can feel it. Hey guys, I'm down here at seven o'clock and it's you know almost time. And uh, well. It's, it's a beautiful day out. I can't get you wrong on that. Look at the sun in the background there. That's just, just beautiful. Temperature is nice. It's not raining. It's not too damp. The stream's awesome level. This is just, this is perfect fishing conditions. I feel that this is going to be a really good day. And you know, I cannot wait. And I'll keep you posted. And uh, wish me luck. And I hope I'm bringing you back into wild brook trout. Bye. It's 7.15, so I took a walk because the weight's unbearable. What is that? It's 7.30, I'm heading towards the hole, you know, walking upstream. And we just had like a passing shower, but what holds off? I'm going to consider fishing this hole later, but the goal is up there. That's where I'm going. Okay, it's 7.45, I'm at the hole. I'm all situated, and I'm ready to catch some trout. I can't wait. Okay, we got 10 minutes to go. Okay, now I'm ready. Five minutes to go. Look at this sunlight. This is gonna be awesome. I reeled in a crayfish. Look at that. I felt a bite, I can't believe it. This is weird, this is creepy. Look at that. Snake. 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 First catch of the day. One little chub. Damn. Let me just... It's the same size as the ones I caught before, and just get a good look at it. It's 
It's about a couple inches, inch or two. But I'm happy I got at least one chub today. Hopefully more to come. And I got it in a little area, so uh, so they get some more. Here we go. Yeah. My second catch of the day. This this chub thing is different. As you can see, it's different colors. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It's it's w easily bigger, but I'm gonna grab it. Ah. Here, hold, hold on, buddy. Come on. Let's look at this guy. Weird fish. What is this? Yeah. I caught it out of the hole. How do we, this is a weird chub. I don't know. Well, it's time to let him go. Good boy. Third catch of the day. It's another chub, but it's a little different color-wise. It's a little guy. Cool little guy, nice colors. But it's a chub, so it's a, I'm pretty sure it's a chub. Here we go. And see that a dude. Hello. Well, today was the first day of fishing, and right now it's just about 6.30, and uh, well, unfortunately, I was not able to catch my second native wild brook trout out of our stream, so I can get it on tape and recorded, so, you know, we have the proof, but yeah, tomorrow's another day, but, you know, as the sun goes away, you know, my dream to catch another one does not, and I'm just going to keep trying, and, you know, I'm gonna get it on this disc, and whether it takes me tomorrow, or it takes me another week, whether I'm gonna need some help from an outside person or anything, or it takes me the next fall, I will get you the proof eventually, because I am gonna get another one here, but, you know, today wasn't that bad, you know, it was a nice day out, I had some fun. I saw some weird things though, because like, you know, but I caught the, the, the three chubs, something interesting I can research later, like what kind of chubs are there, and uh, I caught the, the, the crayfish, but most importantly, I really I gain knowledge about the hole a little bit more. It's going to help me, and every day I'm just going to keep trying. And, you know, I will, you know, I'm going to get another native wild brook trout out of there, and I, nothing's going to stop me. I really, I'm going to. And I had a nice long day, now I'm going to go relax and rest, and, you know, see you tomorrow morning, which is going to be Sunday, April 13th, probably around 5.30. Goodbye. Hello. Today is Sunday, April 13th, and it's the second day that trout season is open. Now, unfortunately, yesterday I could not reel in a native wild brook trout from my stream and our stream. So today I'm going to try again, and uh, I'm going to keep trying because I want to get recorded on film. So if anybody ever asks, we can have the, the recorder proof to tell them, or if it ever like, comes up, or you know what I mean, anyway, like that. So uh, I'm going to get you one. And I probably will make another morning or a coming back speech for some time because, you know, if I don't get it today, I want to keep trying. But probably the next time I film, it'll be getting Native Wild Brook Trout. And it might not be today, it might not be tomorrow, but I will get it eventually. And like, you gotta give me, there's probably only a couple trout in there, but I will get one again. You know, it was just a beautiful thing when I got the first one, but I'm getting a second one. So, uh, see you then. Well, it's still uh, April 13th, but I went down there on my first cast. I cast it out with the worm and one of the big sinkers, and I got a bite. You know, and uh, it was came so unexpectedly, and you know, I thought it was not a rock, and I had it on there, and then reeling it in, and then it got away. But judging by the way it took the bait, I fought, I'm guessing it was a trout. But I saw some white, like, you know, I'm not, you know, because you think I'm be seeing some orange, and that one on a rock, but I'm hoping it's a trout, and we'll keep trying. So, you know, I guess I gotta wish you good luck. Um, um, it's April 19th, 2008, and yes, I caught the native brook trout at our stream. I'm so ecstatic right now. This is unbelievable. I just could not believe it. Oh my god, I got it. I cannot believe it. Oh my god, look at this thing, it's beautiful. And look at the size of this bag, oh my god. 
Oh, this is just simply, simply amazing. Best day of my life. Oh my god. I'll get some more shots. I'll get you some more shots. Look at this majestic native brook trout I just caught. Oh my god. Oh my god. Out of, out of this hole. Let me get him for you. Oh my god. Hold on. Let me just get him. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is what I've been trying to catch for such a long time. Look at that beautiful spots. The tail, the white fins. Look at that, that is a trout. Look how long he is too. Look how long he is, baby. Look how long he is. Look at that. It's too nice here, native brookie. Native brookie. This hole. Native brookie. Nice. 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 This is the native brook trout still. Okay. Look at that. That is beautiful colors. Beautiful. Look at the, look at the blue. Look at the, the worm. The dots. The head of a trout. Oh, God. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Look at that. Look how big he is. Look, look at that. Oh my god. This is a dream come true for me. Dream come true. His, his belly isn't red yet because it's not spawning time. Ow. Yes. Yes, yes. It's nice. It's simply amazing. It's simply too amazing. Look at this fish. Look at his tail. Look at that. Look at the tail. Look at the tail. That's the tail. There's my fish. My oh so beautiful trout. Out of this hole. Okay, it's time. It's time for him to go soon. Let's get a final good luck. Final good luck at this. Oh god, bugs. Final good luck at this trout. Look at the top of him. Out of this hole. Oh, this is too amazing. Too amazing. Let me get from the side. Let me get from the side. Simply phenomenal. Phenomenal catch. Best catch of my life here. I caught one of them before, and I proved to the world that there are more. Trust me, there are more. Okay, here we go. This hole, this trout, and back he goes. And look at him in there. Look at him sitting in there. Look at that. I could trout tickle him right now. I could trout tickle that amazing catch. Oh, amazing. He's still hanging, recuperating, but that was one amazing catch. I would have none other than this hole on our property. Native brook trout living in our property. Joe made it possible. She helped me. Thank you, Joe. There's the hole where I caught that trout. It's on our property. Glasses view. Well, today is April 20th, and I'm getting ready to, you know, finish this video, and, you know, I went down again, and I can see trout in the water, I can see chubs swimming around, and now that I've really caught another native brook trout, you know, I have gained the gift of, like, vision into the water, and I can, like, see the fish, you know, I am the trout whisperer now, and, you know, I'm just happy that I could catch a native wild brook trout out of our stream.